The only time Beerus has ever looked at anyone as an equal was when Goku gained full control over Ultra Instinct for that brief period of time in the end of the tournament. But it's been a while since then and Beerus has gone back to his normal Beerus ways of laying around and sleeping. It tells what being the strongest is actually all about. In Beerus' case, as much as he enjoys fighting, there is no one on his level to fight with. Going from planet to planet and destroying it with so little effort has made him not care about anything. Beerus has become so bored for these millions of years, that's why he was asleep all through DBZ, and it was only the idea of fighting another god that made him care about something again. This is one of my favorite things about Beerus that I don't think gets touched on anywhere near enough. When you're at the top, in Beerus' case, there is nowhere else to go. So, he's basically seen it all, the drive is gone. Especially in the manga, where Beerus is not only portrayed to be the strongest in Universe 7, but one of the strongest gods of destruction, being able to fight 11 other gods at once. After the tournament, Beerus goes back to his ways of not caring, and he doesn't even fight Broly. He's on Earth at the same time, but he doesn't get involved. This means that he was so much stronger than Broly that Broly wouldn't have even been a fun enough fight for him. This is why Beerus has been left out of the later story once again. For as quick as he would be able to end Moro, he doesn't even see him as a threat. What's interesting about this story so far is that Beerus doesn't even know that it's Moro. When Whis tells him about the situation, he describes him as a planet buster, but Beerus never actually looked into the crystal ball to see who it was. Years ago, Moro fought against the Grand Supreme Kai, who is meant to be a god of destruction's equal in power. The fight took place in out of space just so Moro couldn't absorb the juice of a planet, but it was a very even battle. The Grand Supreme Kai was only able to win by sealing him away, and for the last 10 million years, that's where Moro's been. This means that in his prime, Moro would have been a match for Beerus. As the story plays out, that first chance Beerus had to stop Moro could come back around and be one of his biggest ever mistakes. At this point, it's Goku and Vegeta fighting on his behalf, training themselves to get as strong as they possibly can, while Beerus just doesn't do that. Beerus has never been shown training and is just relying on the fact that he is already strong enough, and in a series like Dragon Ball, you've always had to keep on top of your game, otherwise you would be left behind. It's happened too many times, and with Moro on the rise, Beerus is no exception. Beerus' character is used as a goal for Goku and Vegeta to always be chasing that level of strength. So for Beerus to be surpassed by someone else, it would completely cut out one of his main characteristics. The only saving grace for Beerus is that we've never seen him go 100%, and although Moro in his prime was able to battle with his counterpart, the limits of Beerus' power are unknown. And he isn't stupid, he knows how powerful he is, and maybe he has everything under control. Just from the outside looking in, if he doesn't get more involved with the story in some way, he could end up losing it all. Anyway, that's what I think the most interesting thing is in the current state of Dragon Ball Super. This whole story arc would be finished if Beerus took things more seriously, but then again, he is the most powerful god, and that's the reason he's so laid back. By the time Moro has finished absorbing every planet he needs, he could be even beyond his prime, overpowering everyone, including Beerus. Especially if he gets his hands on Goku and Vegeta's energy like he intends to, and sucks every last fiber out of Earth. At that point, you'd be looking at a completely new character. Once Beerus finally acknowledges Moro's existence, that's when the story will get really interesting, but let me know what you think. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.